Asajj Ventress, the former Sith Assassin account Dooku, is alive in the Bad Batch Season 3 trailer, and fans are wondering how this is possible as she died in 2015 Star Wars Dark Disciple. So strap in as we deep dive into the four possible ways she returned. Somehow, Asajj Ventress returned. Some of these theories have huge implications for Star Wars lore and future storytelling. This is where the fun begins. But to fully understand the likeliness of each possibility, we first need to understand who Asajj Ventress really is. Ventress was born on Dathomir, a planet where the women rule and the men drool. Literally. The women are called Night Sisters and they have some awesome powers that they use to control the men, who are called Night Brothers. Ventress was a part of the Night Sister clan led by Mother Towson, who was like the Queen Bee of the Witches. But when Ventress was just a baby, she was kidnapped by a slave named Halstead, who took her to a complete hellhole called Rat Attack. There she lived as a slave until she was saved by a Jedi Knight named Kai Narek, who crashed on the planet and felt a disturbance in the Force. Narek took Ventress under his wing and taught her the ways of the Jedi, and together they fought against the warlords and pirates who terrorized the planet. Ventress and Narek became a dynamic duo, and the people of Rat Attack loved them, but their happy days were cut short when Narek was sniped by a cowardly assassin, leaving Ventress heartbroken and angry. She blamed the Jedi for not helping her master, and she turned to the dark side, vowing to kill them all. She became a fierce warrior and a feared leader who conquered many of the warlords on Rat Attack. Now, Ventress's exploits caught the eye of Count Dooku, who, as we know, is a former Jedi Master turned Sith Lord and the leader of the Separatists, who were at war at the time against the Republic and the Jedi. Dooku came to Rat Attack and offered Ventress a job as his new apprentice. Ventress agreed, hoping to get more power and to get revenge on the Jedi. Ventress became one of the most dangerous and deadly agents of the Separatists, who clashed with many of the Jedi and the Republic's forces across the galaxy. She wielded two red lightsabers with curved hilts, which she could join together to form a double-bladed weapon. She also used her Night Sister magic and her cunning to gain an edge over her enemies. She was a formidable foe who proved to be a match for some of the most powerful and skilled Jedi such as Kenobi, Anakin, Ahsoka and Mace Windu. However, Ventress's ambition and success also made her a threat to Sidious the secret Sith Lord and the puppet master of the entire war. Sidious feared that Ventress might become too powerful and that Dooku might try to overthrow him with her help. Sidious ordered Dooku to get rid of Ventress and Dooku obeyed, betraying his apprentice and ordering his own forces to fire upon her ship during battle. Ventress actually survived the attack but was badly wounded and left for dead. She managed to escape and return to her home world of Dathomir where she was welcomed back by Mother Towson and the Night Sisters. Ventress decided to ditch the Sith and the Separatist and to get revenge on Dooku for his treachery. He teamed up with Towson and the Night Sisters who came up with a plan to kill Dooku. They used their magic to create a new apprentice for Dooku, a Zabrak named Savage Press, who was secretly loyal to Ventress and the Night Sisters. Ventress and Oppress infiltrated Dooku's palace and tried to kill him, but the plan backfired and Oppress turned against both Ventress and Dooku and ran away. Ventress was once again left on her own and realized that she had no place in the galaxy. She decided to start a new life as a bounty hunter, hoping to find some meaning and purpose in her existence. As a bounty hunter, she worked with some of the most notorious and badass mercenaries in the galaxy, such as Boba Fett, Bosk, and Dengar. She took on various jobs and missions across the galaxy, from rescuing a kidnapped child to infiltrating a prison to stealing a rare statue. She also ran into some of the Jedi, such as Obi-Wan and Ahsoka, who she helped in different situations despite their past conflicts. Ventress gradually developed a sense of humor and compassion and began to redeem herself from her dark past. And she even fell in love with a Jedi named Quinlan Vos, who was sent by the council to assassinate Dooku and who partnered with Ventress under the guise of being a fellow bounty hunter. Now, Ventress goes on to train Vos in the ways of the Night Sisters and the Dark Side, hoping to prepare him for the task. However, their relationship was complicated by Vos's struggle with the Dark Side and by Dooku's manipulation and torture of him. Ventress tried to save Vos and help him complete his mission, but their plan failed and Vos was captured by Dooku. Now, this is where Ventress teams up with Obi-Wan and Anakin, who had discovered Vos's betrayal and wanted to arrest him. Ventress convinced them to let her rescue Vos, hoping to bring him back to the light and to escape with her to a new life. However, Dooku attempted to kill Vos with Force Lightning, and Ventress sacrificed herself to save him, taking the full blast of the attack, 
Ventress died in Voss's arms, having finally found some peace and love in her final moments. Or so we thought. As the trailer at a Bad Batch season 3 revealed a shocking twist, Ventress is alive and well, sporting a full head of hair and a yellow lightsaber. She appears to be working as a mercenary and is seen fighting what we believe to be the Empire and its clone troopers. Hang on a minute. How is this possible? How did Ventress survive her apparent death in Dark Disciple? Well, there are four possible explanations, and we're going to break them down one by one. The first possibility is that Ventress faked her own death. This is the easiest and most obvious option, but also pretty boring and therefore unlikely. Ventress had no reason to fake her own death, and she had every reason to stay with Voss, whom she loved. Plus, faking her death would have required a lot of planning and preparation, which she didn't have time for as she was on a rescue mission at the time. And let's not forget, she would have had to fall to Jedi, Obi-Wan and Anakin, who would have sensed her life force and her deception. So yeah, this possibility is pretty lame and implausible, and it doesn't fit with Ventress's character and situation. The second possibility is that Ventress was resurrected. Now this is a more plausible option, as resurrection is a known phenomenon in the Star Wars universe, especially on Ventress's home planet of Dathomir. Dathomir is a world of dark magic, where the Night Sisters, a clan of witches effectively, practice various rituals and spells, including resurrection. As seen in the Clone Wars and Ahsoka, the Night Sisters were able to resurrect their fallen as zombies. And Mother Talzin, the leader of the Night Sisters, was actually able to resurrect herself after being killed by General Grievous. Ventress herself was a Night Sister and learned some of their magic from Mother Talzin. Therefore, it is possible that Ventress used some of her Night Sister skill to bring herself back to life, or perhaps someone else performed the resurrection ritual on her. However, there are some problems with this possibility as well. First of all, the Night Sisters were mostly wiped out by Dooku and Grievous, leaving only a few survivors, and it's unlikely that any of them would have cared enough to resurrect Ventress, who left their clan in the past. Second, resurrection in Star Wars usually comes with a price, such as corruption, decay, or madness. Ventress, however, appears to be healthy and sane in the Bad Batch trailer, showing no signs of being undead or unhinged. Third, resurrection in Star Wars usually requires a strong connection to the Force, either by the resurrected or by the resurrector. Ventress, however, severed her connection to the Force after her death, as stated in The Dark Disciple. Therefore, we can also rule out this possibility as unlikely and problematic. Now, the third possibility, and my personal choice, is that Ventress is a clone. This is a more likely option, as cloning is a major theme and plot point in the Bad Batch. The Empire is also secretly experimenting with cloning technology, trying to create Force-sensitive clones for Palpatine, who we know later on goes on to clone himself. Therefore, it is possible that Ventress is also a product of the Empire's cloning experiments, or was part of the Kaminoans' attempts to sabotage them. Perhaps the Empire or the Kaminoans obtained a sample of Ventress's DNA and wanted to user as a test subject, as a weapon, or even a bargaining chip. Perhaps the clone of Ventress escaped, or is freed by the Bad Batch and joins them in their fight against the Empire. Perhaps the clone of Ventress inherited some of her original's memories, skills, and personality, or maybe she develops her own identity and destiny. The possibility is more consistent with the timeline and the themes of the Bad Batch, and it also has some precedent in Star Wars lore. Cloning is being used throughout Star Wars with characters such as Palpatine, Boba Fett, Snoke, Moff Gideon, and an entire clone army, therefore we can consider this possibility as plausible and interesting. The fourth and final possibility is that Ventress's appearance in The Bad Batch Season 3 is a flashback. Now this is the most boring and quite frankly disappointing option, but also the most realistic and logical one. Ventress's appearance in The Bad Batch trailer could be a misleading tease, and she could actually only appear in a flashback scene, showing some of her past adventures or interactions with The Bad Batch or other characters. This would explain how she is alive and well without contradicting or retconning her death in Dark Disciple, and it would also explain why she looks different, as she could have changed her appearance over time, and she could have well been fighting the Empire before her death during the Clone Wars. However, this possibility would also be a huge letdown for the fans, who have been dreaming of Ventress's return for a long time, and who had been hoping for more stories and development for her character. Ventress is one of the most popular and complex characters in all of Star Wars, and in my opinion she deserves more than a cameo or a flashback, Ventress has a lot of potential and connections to explore, such as her relationship with Voss, her role in the Night Sisters, her rivalry with Dooku, her friendship with Ahsoka, and her place in the overall force. Ventress also has a lot of fans who want to see her in action, wielding the lightsaber and using her magic. Therefore, we can hope that this possibility is not the case, and that Ventress's appearance in the Bad Batch Season 3 is more than just a flashback. So what do you think of these possibilities? Is Ventress really dead? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe to catch more videos. I'll see you in the next one. May the force be with you.